Welcome to Learning Science Channel, a platform that provides educational videos of various concepts which will help learners in gaining and understanding different fields of science like biology, chemistry, earth science, and physics. If you are new to our channel, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to keep you updated for more science lessons. For today's video, we are going to study about sex-linked genes. We will give examples of a trait under sex-linked genes, and we will solve problems by using Punnett square of the characteristics of a sex-linked gene. So, let us start. Sex-linked genes is a sex-related inheritance which are determined by genes located on the sex chromosomes. XX chromosomes for females and XY chromosomes for males. Genes located on the X chromosomes are called X-linked genes, while genes on the Y chromosomes are Y-linked genes. An example of an X-linked trait is color blindness. To illustrate the inheritance, the X chromosomes with the gene for color blindness is represented by XC. Upon looking at this table, you will notice that the allele C for color blindness is only located at the X chromosome, not in the Y chromosome. Notice that for a female to become color blind, the two X chromosomes must link with the allele C for color blindness. If a female has only one X chromosome with allele C, she becomes normal but can pass on the trait to her offspring. She is therefore a carrier of the trait. Since males have only one X chromosome, whenever the gene for color blindness is linked to it, then the male will be color blind. This is the reason why color blindness is more common in males than in females. So, let us have our sample problem number one. Color blindness is a recessive sex link disorder in humans. A color blind man has a child with a woman who is carrier of the disorder. Using the pan square, find the probability of having children who will have normal vision and children who will be color blind. Always remember that an X is for a normal vision and XC is for being colorblind. By using this Punnett square, then let us cross the parents. According to the problem, the father is colorblind. Then we can represent it by using XCY. And the mother is carrier of the disorder. Therefore, it can be represented by XCX. By multiplying the alleles, then we will have XCXC, XCY, XCX, and XY. Now, let us answer these questions. What is the genotype of the father? The genotype of the father is XCY. What is the genotype of the mother? The genotype of the mother is XCX. What is the chance that the child will be colorblind? There is 50% chance that the child will be colorblind. What is the chance that a daughter will be colorblind? 50% chance for a daughter to be colorblind. What is the chance that a son will be colorblind? There is 50% chance that a son will be colorblind. This time, let us proceed to our sample problem number 2. Suppose a normal vision man has a child with a woman who is colorblind. Using the Punnett square, Find the probability of having children who will have normal vision and children who will be colorblind. Still remember, an X is for normal vision 
and xc for being colorblind. By using this Punnett square, then, let us cross the parents. According to the problem, the father has a normal vision. Therefore, let us represent it by xy. And the mother is colorblind. Therefore, we can represent it as xc xc. By multiplying the alleles, then we will have xcx xcy xcx and xcy. Now, let us answer these questions. What is the genotype of the father? The genotype of the father is xy. What is the genotype of the mother? The genotype of the mother is xcxc. What is the chance that the child will be colorblind? There is 50% chance that the child will be colorblind. What is the chance that a daughter will be colorblind? 0%, meaning there is no chance that a daughter will be colorblind, but a carrier of the disorder. What is the chance that a son will be colorblind? There is 100% chance that the son will be colorblind. So, let us summarize. Sex-linked traits are inherited through the X chromosomes. Males have only one X chromosome. Therefore, if they inherit the affected X, they will have the disorder. Females have two X chromosomes. Therefore, they can inherit or carry the trait without being affected if it acts as a recessive manner. And that's it with our lesson for today. Hope you learned something on this video. And if you do, please consider to subscribe, give us a like, and share this to others. See you on our next video.